Hello, welcome to this edition of Movie Time, starring me, Christopher Thompson. Alright, third time's a charm so far, hopefully this one will work. I've tried to do this two times already and I've totally screwed them up. Uh, last time, first time was my screw up, the second time was the settings were awry, went awry and the sound didn't pick up very good, so hopefully this one will work. Um, let me get a little bit more center here, maybe give me more light. Alright, uh, so today I went and saw it. If you don't know what it is, it is based on a, a very large book by Stephen King, which I have never read, but there was a min TV miniseries in 1990, um, which starred Penny, uh, Pennywise the Clown was played by, um, Tim Curry, who was a very scary person even without the makeup. No, it seems like he's a really good guy. But anyways, we're not talking about that. We are talking about the new uh, uh, version of It, which is a theatrical film released here in 2017, and it stars Bill Skarsgård, who you may know from Hemlock Grove as Pennywise the Clown, a.k.a. It. Okay, so we got to have a little rundown. I, only, I don't mention the other actors' names because it would take me all day just to tell who everybody is. But, okay, so it's this creature that takes the form of a clown and seems to come out every 27 years to feed for a year and then go back into hibernation. And it seems to have been doing this for hundreds of years since the found, founding of the town Derry. Um, okay, so... We got these characters, these kids that are called, known as the Losers Club. They were called that by the people who picked on them and hated them, and then they just took it, it and made it their own and are proud of being losers, as everyone calls them. They're actually not losers. They're nerds. You know, you'd call them nerds, which is now with people, it's like a good thing, but back then, nerds, being a nerd wasn't a good thing. Um... Anyways, okay, so one of the, we got Bill, and he's going to start off the story, Bill, and then there's Beverly. Um, Bill's brother, Georgie, gets killed in the beginning. Beverly is a girl who's hated by other girls, and the girls who hate her rumor, put, spread a rumor that she's a slut when she's only kissed like one guy in her life and never done anything like that, and her father's very physically abusive to her. We have Ben that comes in a little bit later. He's the new kid in town and he's a heavy set thing and him and Beverly kind of have a thing. Um, but it doesn't get like, it doesn't, not till they're older do, does it finally come out and that they realize they still care about each other. Okay, then you got Richie. Richie's the foul mouth. He's the the guy who talks, he'd be like, basically, who they called mouth on um, Goonies. Pretty much the same type of character, except he's a little bit more of an ass. Um, we got Stan, and Stan's, Stan's a cool guy, but Stan's always been their friends. He's a Jewish kid, he talks about it, they, they're asking him about what a bar mitzvah is, and Richie with this foul mouth says, oh, don't they cut off the tip of your penis? Obviously, he's referring to circumcision, but that happens when they're a baby, not when they're at their bar mitzvah or whatever. And because, well, it's Stan and his, well, not Stan, uh, Richie. Richie's got his mouth and his head, his mind in the gutter. Uh, okay, so, and then there's Stan. Okay, I just said Stan. Then there's Eddie. Eddie's mom tells him he's sick and makes him tells him he has asthma and all these sicknesses when he really doesn't which makes him a hypochondriac but it's because his mom's made him that way because she has in issues um okay and then there's michael or mike um mike is like the only black kid in town and of course because of that he's picked on by these bullies and the bullies are the they're a little group a little gang here you got Henry Bowers is the head guy. I'm mentioning his first and last name because he's 
referred to as Henry or Bowers, Bowers mostly, because they just refer to him as Patrick and Belch. Belch, not, I'm not even going to put his first name or what last name, what his real name is, because that's what they go by. Okay. And Henry Bowers is a psychopath just waiting to happen. Okay, so the story begins. Um, it's a rainy day. Bill's sick in bed. And he makes a boat out of fold, by folding paper for Georgie. And um, he says, well, you got it. Georgie, you got to go get the wax. It's like, down in the basement? He's like, well, you want it to float? Yeah, he's like, yeah I want it to float. I'll go get it. So he goes down there. He goes and gets it. Brings it back. He melts the wax or whatever and brushes it on it so it'll keep the water from basically turning the paper to mush so it'll float so he goes out in the rain and it's galoshes in his rain jacket and has his um, walkie talkie with them and so he runs and he's running after the boat and it's going fast down the little thing down the gutter and then it goes across the street because there's like it kind of floods the temp the street a little bit he goes in there and then it goes in the gutter he goes down there and then Pennywise is there holding the boat and he talks to him hey isn't your name so blah 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 the kid says I'm not a, supposed to talk to strangers he's like well I'm Pennywise and you're Georgie so we're friends now you're not a bad guy and he's making him laugh and all this stuff and then that goes for the boat and then Pennywise shows his t nasty sharp teeth that uh, who <laughs> and bites his arm off we don't really see him but you see his arm like come up where he has no arm and then he's pulled into the gutter okay different a few differences between this and the book and the uh, miniseries is one the book and the miniseries start off when they're adults and all the scenes are when their children are flashbacks and they decided to take another thing with that and another approach to where just to go through the childhood as it's happening and then in the second movie they're going to deal with the adults coming back to finally finish off Pennywise and see how their lives have all been that have left their lives have all just been not very good they've been nothing like there was something missing because they had all forgotten about Pennywise even Michael who stayed back in um in Derry and he's the one who calls him and then they start remembering okay and in the that the like I haven't read the book I saw the old series um uh, the mini series in 1990 and that one they found his body like his arms were ripped off but the his body was found with his arms ripped off in this uh, version, they have not found um, Georgie. They, uh, he was pulled, they think he just fell, went under and drowned. And Bill thinks he's still alive. Bill even does a little experiment with these pipe systems. He made this shower thing he would go if he was washed down the pipe. Okay, so that's where we got, where we have him. And then we see Beverly, Beverly, we find her at school, and she's smoking in the um, toilet stall in the um, bathroom, and the other girls don't like her, t basically takes a dump in a, a trash bag, and then they dump it on her, and they call her a slut and all this stuff, when she's not a slut, they're just bitches. Anyways, so that happens, and then, um... I think we're right after that we're introduced to Bill's friends who right now they're uh, Richie, Stan, and Eddie. Um, we haven't met Ben or Michael yet. Well, no, I think we meet Michael soon after that. Okay, so we show the kids and they get picked on by uh, Henry Bowers and this is when uh, they're talking to Stan about what happens in a bar mitzvah and all this stuff. And, uh, uh, and we learned that Eddie's a hypochondriac pretty soon. Okay, so then after, I think slightly after that, then we see Michael, Mike, as they call him. Um, and Mike's parents died in a fire in a building he got out of, but they couldn't get out of. So that's part of his fear is 
burning people and stuff. People who are burning. Um, he works, I guess, with an uncle or somebody, and basically they kill livestock to turn into meat, and they show him, and he, they give him a bolt gun, and try, they want him to kill the sheep, and he just can't do it, and he gets this thing of how he's supposed to be responsible when he's only, like, 12 or 13 or for whatever, however these kids are. I think they're only, like, 12, 13, maybe the oldest one's 14 or something. Then we later see him where the Henry Bowers and his um, little gang uh, almost run him over and tell him to get out of town because they don't like him because he's black. They don't. Well, they don't really like anybody who isn't them. They're just a bunch of bullies, a little couple of bunch of little white thugs, <coughs> and they're white trash and they're they're, they're convinced they're better than everybody and. Henry's father is like the sheriff or something, and he's kind of a jerk himself. Uh, okay, so, um, then after a little while, we meet, uh, Ben, and Ben, he hasn't met anybody yet, he's a new kid, he's kind of overweight, he likes to read, and he's done research on, um, he's done a lot of research uh, on dairy and the history and all that stuff. But anyways, um, Bowers and his friend, they, they're, they're picking on him, they beat him up and stuff, Bowers punches him in the nose, and then he takes out a knife and he starts carving, he carves the H in him and says, I'm gonna carve my name all over every piece of this fat boy or whatever, and then, so, he runs, and the other kids find him and he's bleeding, and they take him and hide him from him, and then, this is where their paths cross with Beverly is that um, what happens is she's going to the the um, the pharmacy to get tampons that time of month I guess uh, not important but then she runs into the kids kids uh, Bill and Bill and Richie and Eddie and Stan and they they don't have enough money to buy the things they need to patch up poor Ben, and so um, she makes a distraction with this creepy guy in the uh, at <coughs> in the uh, pharmacy department, and he's like gets all pedophile on her and stuff, which is uncalled for. And anyway, she does things, hits some, throws something that falls down. And then they run out with the stuff. So <clears throat> that's how they meet her. <coughs> and so they're hanging out now with Ben as their friend. And Beverly is not with them. But they're doing a <coughs> loogie spitting contest. <coughs> and, <coughs> and all of them go far. And then Richie spits and it goes out of his foot. And he's like, oh, well, it's about mass. It's about how big the loogie is. Oh, no, it's distance. No, it's always been about mass, because Richie's like that, he cheats. <coughs> I gotta cough myself. Maybe I should enter a loogie contest. <laughs> okay, so... <coughs> there's that, and then... Um, how does Mike come into it? Okay, um... <coughs> so there they're already talking to Ben and he says how he's doing research on it and that he's found that I don't know if they talk about it now but he talks about how it seems like every 26 years that um, these kids that kids start disappearing every 27 years every 27 years for a year kids start disappearing then everything's fine until another 27 years later and this just happens over and over again and it seems to have been going on for like since the founding of Derry and the first incident happened in this well in this well house which is now built over by a larger house okay so um, so we got in there okay so now he decides to and he has the his friends go with um, Bill wants to goes into the the sewer place to go in the sewer pipes to look for Georgie, in which case he finds um, 
a shoe, but it's not Georgie's. Georgie was wearing galoshes, and it happens to belong to this little girl that's disappeared. Okay, so at that time, um, now Henry Bowers and Patrick and Belch are tormenting poor Mike because he's black, uh, and they're assholes, racists, all sorts of things. And then, okay, so he goes from there and um, he gets away. For, oh, okay. When, before they go to the sewers, they get a run in and Mike's there and they tell Mike to come with them and they throw rocks at Bowers and them and they're throwing them back and they're basically winning and then they run off and, but Patrick follows after them when they go, that's where they run in and then they, they go into the, the place and they're looking for a shoe and then Mike comes with them and then Bauer, not Bowers, uh, Patrick, he gets separated from them and Pennywise finds them and that's the end of poor Patrick. Um, he's an asshole, I don't really care, you know, he just, he got what he deserved. He was picking on the poor kid and, and we go from there, from there, they're, they're talking to Ben and they've all, everybody except, um, Richie has seen the clown takes different forms Bill, sometimes it's Georgie or uh, his parents blaming him for Georgie uh, Beverly's afraid of her dad so he'll play into that and uh, there's a part where she cuts off her hair and then when she first meets uh, uh, anyways the water comes up, she sees something oh yeah, she put a tape measure down to see how far it went, and she starts hearing voices and then the hair comes up and tries to grab her in and then like hear Pennywise makes voices like little girls voices and then you hear the voice of ah, when you're down here you'll float too or whatever you know that is what his little stick is so <clears throat> then uh, from there okay so we uh, they all eventually Eddie sees a uh, a leper because he's afraid of germs and stuff um Was it Ben? Ben was afraid of... Was it Ben or was it... Someone was afraid of carnivals. So that was their thing. And then... Um, so... We get to the point where... Uh, oh yeah. They they have a map. I guess they're at... I'm not sure whose house they're at. But Ben has the map up on the wall. And... Um, so I have a cat back here that won't be quiet. Iggy stop it you're fine anyways um showing them the map and then he has a, a slide is projecting on the slide projector over it and it shows where all the pipes where all the kids disappear seem to go together and converge at this um this well house and the well and the well was the, where the first child disappeared when the beginning of the founding of Derry. So, what happens is, um, so they see that and they know that's where they need to go. And then all of a sudden, uh, something happens and the, the slides start going and you see um, Bill with Georgie and his parents and Georgie and then it changes and it shows some woman and then all the pictures keep going and it's going by itself and they're changing and it's kind of moving and Pennywise, you uh, the woman turns into Pennywise and you see him moving and changing and his mouth moving and all of a sudden he's coming, he's all huge coming out of the screen and he comes after them and they're like totally freaked out and so no be quiet I'm trying to do something you need to be quiet okay Iggy let me do my movie thing my review um okay so um, they decide to go check out the house, and half of them freak out, um, stay, I think Eddie's one of the people said, well, some people should stay, stay out, the kids say, well, some people should stay, and then they all say they want to stay, so they have to pick straws, which they don't show, but they tell him that he got the short straw, so Richie, gets, was it Richie, oh, okay, I know Bill was in there, I think it was Bill and Richie and Eddie, and, um, they get separated 
um, Richie gets stuck in a room with all these clown boxes coming open, and they all see Penny, the Pennywise come to him in different forms, and um, you see, um, so they're there, and then they get separated, and then Bill sees something that scares him. I think Beverly might have been in the house. Come here. Come here, Iggy. Will you stop meowing? I can't let you in that door. You need to wait. Anyways, um, so they're in that house, and something happens where Eddie gets chased by it, and the the floor breaks down, and he falls through to the next floor, and he breaks his arm. And then they go out, and they take him, and his mom comes, and she's freaked out, and she said, See what you did to my boy, and blah, 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 and it's all their fault, and he tries to say the clown was after him. Well, don't blame someone else. It's their fault. So he takes, she takes him, and then uh, he gets his arm fixed up, and she says he can't stay with them. So he goes to get his medicine at the, um, the pharmacy. Iggy, come here. You are ruining my thing. And so, the mom makes, sends him to get his medicine, and the girl, she's one of the bad girls that's sitting at the counter, she's like, you know, it's just a placebo, it's just bullshit. And it's not real medicine, you're not really sick. So he gets the medicine and goes back to his mom, and she's saying she's not going to let him see her friends, and he takes his pills and he throws them, and he's all, those are gazebos, it's bullshit, mom. Obviously he means placebo, but, um, so that's how it in, he ends up and he runs off with them. So this time they really, they go back to the house and they're going into the will and Bowers comes um, after them and Bowers has just killed his dad when that didn't happen in the old series. In the old series he got blamed for the Patrick's death. I don't know if it was Patrick or Belch in the other one. One of them, whoever died, he got blamed and then he later got put in an insane asylum where he escapes from when they're adults. We'll see how that plays off. So he goes after them and he falls way, way down the well and he looks like he's dead, but I don't think he's dead. I think he's like, uh, he, I think he's gonna play into the next movie with the next movie's gonna be when they're adults. Cause it clearly says at the end of, like when the credits start, it says it uh, chapter one. So we will see what happens in chapter two. So they all go down there, and they're confronting them, and Beverly gets separated, and it comes to her, and he opens his mouth, and she sees into him, and sees those lights, and they, in the series they called them the dead lights, and um, he's going to see some dead lights if he doesn't stop. Okay, um, so if I can finish up here, and my cat won't drive me crazy, I will... Uh, finish the story okay so she's in a trance and Ben kisses her and gets her out of the trance Iggy stop I'm trying to do this you need to quit you're ruining my video and making me look like an idiot okay so then um, Bill gets separated from them and he follows Georgie and then the other kids come with them and he has the I think he grabs the bolt gun that he gets from Michael and he said you're not Georgie and he puts it in his head and then he, he falls down and then he starts growing into um, Pennywise it gets bigger the legs stretch out and stuff it's a, tri a trippy special effect and then he gets up and then they put a rod iron from a rod iron fence through his head and it's like going through one eye and it looks all creepy and he's still laughing ha, ha, ha. it looks terrible and then he pulls that out and they're like fighting him and then they bolt him a couple of times and they start hitting him with stuff and they get to the point where they're not afraid of him and that weakens him and then his head like they do something and his head like breaks open and he goes down this tube it's going far and then he goes and disappears and they know that there's a chance that he isn't dead that they didn't finish him and they made this pledge at the end that if he comes back in 27 years when they're older and he comes back and he starts people start disappearing again that they'll come back and they'll finish him and they'll end him they'll make sure he never hurts anyone again 
and that will happen in the next one when the when the kids start disappearing again. Iggy, quit or you're gonna disappear. Leave me alone. I'm trying to do this. Yes, everybody knows my cat's annoying now. Um, and anyways, so, um, so, oh yeah, so that's the end, and they do like a Blood Brother thing where they cut the hands. Anyways, this movie was freaking awesome. It was so scary. I like totally jumped. I'm not easily frightened. Of course, I don't like some scary movies, but I jumped out of my seat, like literally jumped out of my seat like four or five times. It was really scary. Bill Skarsgård is horrifying as Pennywise. That, ooh, there's no comedy in his version of it. He's horrifying. I had problems with this, like I felt like the time warped was time warped to be perfect for my generation who grew up in the 80s and the 90s and I felt they did too much too many references funny pop references or references to pop culture and I felt like they really pandered to my generation I felt like kind of exploited when they should be trying to look, aim it towards all the generations that are going to see it um and that irritated me, and some of the plot changes irritated me, and I couldn't help it. I ended up first, I, I tried hard, I was thinking that, oh, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Then I kept going, okay, a 4.5 out of 5, and I eventually said, you know, the changes in anything that irritates me isn't worth it, anything. That this movie was just so good that whatever problems that I have at the end were gone. And... I don't want it to seem like I give every film I like five stars, but this is five stars out of five stars and and one annoying screaming cat to boot. So um so go see this movie. It's great. It's much better than the last uh Stephen King movie I saw, which was The Dark Tower and Iggy belongs in the Dark Tower. And anyways, so this was a great movie. It's scary. Um I give it five out of five uh, stars. So, uh, till next time, I'll see you later. I'll see you in the next episode of Movie Time.